What up, family? Get a news report, Mary Dash from Mary and Lee. Today is Fun Field Friday in my city, Chicago, September the 3rd, 2021. It was the 3rd of September, the day I always remember. I like to send this uh, video out to Young Pharaoh and all the um, conscious brothers and sisters out there who've been putting in the good. Uh, I don't want to say fight because that sound aggressive and intimidating, but been putting in the good work doing this uh, coronavirus and trying to teach the people um, what they know about whatever it is that they learned about or whatever and stuff or they're passionate about. Um, a lot of people are trying to, you know, I believe make fun of young Pharaoh because they seem as though He's having a, a nervous breakdown, and he's not having a nervous breakdown or paranoia. He's uh, he's frustrated, just like myself and even Dane Calloway, you know. Um, I'll put the description in this video, um, and that I'll entitle, you know, Stop Stressing Real People to the Point of... Uh, trying to um, get them to snap because I've never heard Dane Calloway and he's a you know historian scholar he's very um you know uh good at what he does as far as telling people about historical events and things of that nature or whatever and stuff but he was kind of like going hard body and stuff because people are getting frustrated because they're not uh, being appreciated for the work and the research that that you know we put in to try to give people who are not as enlightened as you know we are you know and people tend to try to make it seem as though we're distraught or we're um a problem or whatever the case may be when the truth of the matter is you know everybody has a breaking point but at the same time why would you even try to push a person to to the um to their limits or whatever and stuff when they're trying to help people who are not well informed about what's going on and you know so young pharaoh keep your head up and sarasun said he you know he said he sent you ten thousand dollars for your birthday you know you, you need to get your man and try and um you know make sure that he doesn't get caught up in the system because he is um he's a good person to have around as far as information and stuff you know you know he said he's made a few dollars or whatever and stuff and i believe people are trying to come after that because you know he has put the work in ever since i've been paying attention to him or whatever um i watch his growth and i understand he is probably a little frustrated because i'm frustrated you know, I've put all the pieces together as far as my um, child abuse story is concerned and, you know, my so-called online beef, if that's what you want to call it, a one-sided beef or whatever with Oprah Winfrey, knowing she knows everything pertaining to me. But, of course, they want you to seem as though you're crazy, regardless if you know the information or not, or have the proof to back it up, you understand? But it is what it is, you know. We don't cry over spilled milk, you understand? And we're giving this... At least I am. I'm giving it too much energy or whatever. Now, I'm on a rent strike. I'm going to keep it real because, you know, I'm in a trap building that I know people who are just, you know, squatters at. And, um, you know, people just came in and took a position and sat down and, you know, thinking they're supposed to get free money or whatever and stuff out of me or whatever. I've given over $10,000 or whatever since I've been here. May 31st of 2017, and I haven't gotten anything um, as far as repairs. You know, we have rights. We do, you know, and um, people try to act as if, though, we don't, you know. Um, even though I know I'm not even supposed to be talking like a tenant, I'm supposed to be, you know, you know, running some stuff or whatever, but because they want to trade places, like the movie, you know, trading places, make it seem as though the foreigners are in charge of, the Native Americans, you know, such as myself, you know, I, I know how to play the game, too. Now, when I was in Uptown, 
you know, they illegally evicted me or whatever and stuff, you know, with a lease. So this time they didn't give me a lease. They gave me like a month, month or whatever and stuff. So, you know, you can't get comfortable is what I'm trying to say, no matter what, if you do good, if you do bad or in feral, you know, he has a house now, whatever and stuff. And, you know, he's he's put the work in to, to make something for himself and his family. And everybody seems to be, you know, going against him or just hanging around and see if he's going to break down. That's what it seems to like to me, you know, just by watching a few videos that I got through watching about him breaking down and people, you know, laughing and stuff like, you know, it's a joke. It's not a joke, man, because people put their, you know, heart and soul to try to educate people who are not well educated. And when I got here, these people were on their deathbed. Like when I got here, you know, I was pretty much going through something because people put their sick off on me because they're, they weren't, you know, not enlightened and they wanted to figure out I guess what it is that I knew that would help them you know live a few more years or whatever the case is I don't know I don't want to sound you know crazy because that's what they want they want you to lose your mind turn to dope lose hope you know go crazy you know I can go on and on and tell you how every day you know somebody be trying to get me to turn up or whatever and how the police you know be stalking me and stuff and you know have to play it off as if you know they're not even in the vicinity and stuff like that you know um um young Farrell talked about a wellness check or whatever and stuff and you know he was talking about he didn't want to go outside and things of that nature or whatever you know he know his rights and things of that nature he wasn't sounding crazy he was just you know letting people know on on um on the internet that you know he's been you know everything he stalked or whatever and stuff and he's having baby mama drama and you know like i said he said something about two million dollars he has and stuff so people probably want to come after that just like they you know mess with my social security and stuff i can't do nothing you know i can't beat the world you understand what i'm saying as far as you know fighting this stuff like that and that's all they want you to do is turn up be aggressive so they so so you know you can look like a loose cannon and stuff you know I'm too old for that. Real talk, and you know, the most they could do is what put me out for not paying a little fees or whatever and stuff. You know, it's a shame. I got my little fees. I um, made a money order, things of that nature or whatever and stuff. And you know, I really wanted to, you know, but when I came back, it was like, you know, they expected me to just, you know, and I know it's all a hustle and a racket and you know, and game and scam and stuff. But it's like, look, nigga. I'm not finna, uh, you know, you, when you pay, when you um fix this window and my um blinds and my sink and things of that nature, when you do your part, because I've been doing my part. I'm the only one that's been doing my part for the most part and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, they just got their hand out and stuff. You know, it's, it's crazy. You know, this is an abandoned building for the most part. And nine times out of ten, it's my family owned building, but I can't even say that I could prove that. But at the end of the day, the signs are here for me to see for myself or whatever. You know, I got people that just don't like me and I don't care. You know, I don't care about the building. I've always paid my bills, my rent or whatever and stuff. And, you know, when I got railroaded May 31st, 2008 for so-called disarming the police officer, something I did not do, I was 700 and some dollars ahead of my rent which means I had paid too much rent while I was in prison. Somebody was sleeping in my bed, literally. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not about, you know, the bills. It's just to try to break down people who are smart and intelligent and, you know, and the police are the main people and stuff. I'm looking at one video of the police dancing, you know, like I dance and stuff. He ain't uniform, but he's supposed to be the police officer. But if I do it, I'm crazy and stuff. You understand? So these are the little things that they do to try to irritate you and stuff. So young Pharaoh, keep your head up. And, you know, Sarah soon said it, you should be the one there because it's, it reminds me of uh, Kanye West and Jay-Z. You know, Kanye West is still hurt behind Jay-Z not showing up for his wedding and things of that nature, you know, because he gave Jay-Z a whole lot of, you know, good work or whatever and stuff and kept him relevant, just like young Pharaoh kept um, Sarah soon said he you know, relevant, and just like I kept Oprah Winfrey relevant, she could have never, you know, stayed, you know, relevant without me, you know, being, you know, um, in tune with the streets and, you know, 
keeping her, you know, abreast of what, what's going on as far as uh, just being a real person and stuff. There's not too many real people left in the world and stuff. And, and I believe Young Pharaoh got a lot of gold diggers just around waiting to see them break down so they can get that free money. It's all about trying to get free money and stuff. So, you know, for the people here and my real Mary McAmyras, if you're going through what I'm going through, it's a rent strike. Just like the teachers go on strike and stuff because they, they're not... um. Uh, I'm satisfied with the contracts because they said I signed a contract when I got here. And this is supposed to be a drug-free building. And we're supposed to have meetings and this, that, and whatever. And none of that has happened. They have just collected money and pretty much harassed me to try to get me to turn up so they can, you know, have a reason to kick me out like they did in Uptown for no apparent reason. You understand what I'm saying? All I ask is... If you're going to do it, just give me the money back because you breached the contract a long time ago. I'm not going to be a rapper. I'm not going to be none of that stuff you thought I was going to be. Uh, you know, if I end up dead, no problem and stuff. You know, I'm content. And I'm in my right mind and stuff like that. Real talk. You know, so, you know, Young Fair, he's just a little younger and around that same age. You know, when I was his age, they came after me. But, you know... It's the in intellect, and that's why they call it poor righteous teacher, because they never want to pay us for our intellect, but they want to use it up to keep them relevant and use us as the, a respirator or whatever and stuff to keep them alive, you know. They're not as smart, but if they don't pay us what we're worth, then what? They become just as smart as us, right? Like I said, I've never had a um, day at the spa, never had a new car. I'm the originator of rap. You understand? I'm your ghetto news reporter, and I'm not even trying to be that. I'm just trying to let people know that people are not your friend. And especially if you're, you know, if it's something that you have that they want and they can't accomplish, they can't accomplish it unless they railroad you, or make you sing the same and things of that nature. It's the same thing they did with Malcolm X. You understand? You know, Jesus, you know, Mark chapter 20. Or something like that. Yeah. They own family, you know. So, you know, this is stuff that has already been addressed that people already know, but yet it's still, for some reason, they just wait on person to break down because I won't. They try to force it. They're like rapists. You understand what I'm saying? But they try to mess with your uh, spirituality and your mental and stuff like that, you know. And I know if they were to get me behind closed doors, they would probably kill me for real. You understand what I'm saying? Because they can't get me to turn up and it's frustrating them and stuff like that. So I've been taking the day off a couple of days or whatever and stuff. I ain't even take a shower. I ain't gonna lie. I brush my teeth today or whatever. It ain't because, you know, I'm losing my mind. It's because I've been working my ass off and stuff and I just don't want to do shit. You know, you ever just want to lay around and just fart all day and just, you know, do you? I'm in this mug by myself. I can do whatever I want to do. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. That's not illegal. I'm not the only one that, you know, probably didn't take a shower today. You understand what I'm saying? But at least I acknowledged it. Now, I might take one later on, you know, but I just feel like laying around. I've never had a real vacation. Is this, is this how I choose to, you know, vacation? What is it to the people who don't care about me? They don't care about me in here. All they worried about is, you know, me getting caught up so they can take the little stuff that I accumulated to try to feel somewhat you know, comfortable. You understand? Gold diggers. That's it. They don't care. So, you know, young know, Fairy, you have to be real careful. When you done read a lot of books, you might want to just calm down and just, you know, breathe a little bit and stuff and stop trying to cater to everybody because people don't care. I understand you want to save the world and stuff like that. I, too, at one time thought, you know, people of color, you know, was ready to, you know, be saved, but they're not ready. They're not. They won't be ready until my higher power would drop the bomb. And, and just like in Noah days, you know, when the water come and then everybody will be ready. You understand what I'm saying? And by that time, it'll be too late. So, you know, keep your head up, young blood. Real talk. And um, be careful of your surroundings and stuff because the police came knocking on, trying to knock on my door too with that wellness check at 11 o'clock at night. You know, somebody called. That's all. Be careful. Peace.